Appreciate a disappointing one this afternoon. Yeah, again, we've uh, shot ourselves in the foot. Um, individual areas, you know, are costing us. Um, we've got the, you know, we've got the early goal. Got a bit of luck with a deflected, with a deflected shot, um, and then we concede. You know, we, we know all about Taylor. We talked about it. We talked about set pieces. We, you know, and. We've conceded here. We've conceded again, and ultimately, we ain't going to win too many games if we keep conceding soft goals like like we are. And that's so unlike us this season. Um, we've been so solid defensively. Uh, we've been really good at, at set pieces, um, but we're just having one of those spells at the minute where uh, we're not we're not dealing with that, and that will cost you results in the end. Um, thought first half they were they were much the better team. Um, we struggled to, to get to grips with them and you know they kept putting balls behind us and getting behind us and we found it very difficult to get foothold in the game. Uh, second half was completely different. You know, suddenly we you know we get on the front foot and I'm you know, I'm not sure the slope can make that big a difference. I think, you know, we've just got to uh, maybe start games a, li a little bit better than, than what we than what we're doing. Um, but you know, you come off and you, and you look at the league table again, and we're still sitting in the playoffs. Uh, it's ten games to go. Yeah, it's closed up behind us a little bit. And one or two teams have got games in hand. But those who have got games in hand didn't didn't win today. So you know, it, it's tough when you get to this stage. So points on the board are, are important, um, and we're not going to lose sight of how well we've done to put ourselves in this position. Um, but we've got to stop shooting ourselves in the foot. Yeah, like you say, it could have been worse, couldn't it, today? I know the, the defeat doesn't help, but you know, we're still there. We're still in the top seven. And the games are starting to run out and teams are starting to just sort of reach for the line, I guess, or trying to to grab something. And you know, we get another chance, don't we, very quickly on Tuesday to, to try and rectify the situation. Yeah, it's, a, it's our last midweek game. And, a, and that... Will probably be an advantage for us going going into the running that we'll be able to rest in between prepare for opposition uh, get players uh, rested treated get players back um, you know so obviously Sampo is out uh, with his calf at the minute very hopefully he'll, he'll be he'll be back uh, Tuesday um, Tomo is out with his ankle ligaments um, Hopefully he'll train Monday, um, and then hopefully available in the next week or so. Charlie, still a fair bit away with his with his ankle, so he's probably maybe two or three weeks, uh, possibly more. We just need to uh, have a further look at that one. Uh, Scotty Wilson wasn't really wasn't really fit today, but I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful again for Tuesday. Um, so you know we were. You know, and Blake's with his groin. I put him on at the end because of, because of a set piece. And to be fair, which had a free header from the set piece, and mate, you know, should have scored. Um, so I'm hope, hopeful that you know majority uh, of the lads will be fit uh, for Tuesday, and then with you know with the addition of Charlie, who I thought did he did really well today. Um, we'll not be far off a fully fit squad going into the to the last bit of the season. Yeah, and Harry Scarborough he made his, his first league start for us today, and um, he made did a good account of himself, didn't he? Yeah, look, tough for him against those centre halves. They're all big, three giant, uh, two really experienced lads there. So you know, it was a tough one for him today. But you know, he caused them a few problems. Um, had, a, had a couple of attempts on goal, got into some good areas, put himself about. Worked really hard. Yeah, you know, really pleased with, with him with his debut. And like I mentioned, I, th I was pleased with Charlie. I thought Charlie didn't do a lot wrong. He had a tough, he had a tough task today against Lefudu because Lefudu is quick. Um, it doesn't matter, you know, who's up against him at times. He's going to go past you because of his pace. But he stuck at it um, and um, and showed showed his quality. Um, so you know, he'll be a, he'll be a positive addition to the squad. Yeah, and we had 17 away fans here today. We created some noise in the second half, especially, didn't they? And hopefully, going home again on Tuesday, we'll be able to get another 
decent crowd in and, and more noise to, to back the lads. Yeah, every game now is getting bigger and bigger. You know, um, they're huge. What we got now at home, four, five, five games at home uh, till the end of the season, all big games. You know, Hereford, Kings Lynn, um, Scarborough. You know, that they're, they're huge, huge games for us. Um, and, you know, it's exciting. It's an exciting time uh, of the season. We're in a position where we're, you know, we're fighting for promotion. And like I've said to the lads, you know, you've got to enjoy this. You know, we've got to enjoy the position that we're in because there's a lot of teams who are not enjoying this back end of the season because, you know, there's danger of relegation with, with, with four teams going down. So, you know, we've got to enjoy the position we're in and, um, you know, and hopefully the fans will, will get behind us again like they have done all season um, for a big, big game on Tuesday night.